and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining us today and for clicking on this video. If you find it interesting or helpful, please consider subscribing or hitting that thumbs up button. It really helps my little channel grow. So today I have another Etsy video for you. You guys seem to have really enjoyed my last video where I talk about the mistakes that I've made creating my Etsy shop and how I'm trying to fix them with my second Etsy shop. Um, so many of you commented on that video and I just want to thank you for that. I really enjoy reading your comments. I reply to every single one of them. I think it's very endearing that we're all figuring this out together. Um, so please continue to comment. The video I have today is specifically talking about branding. Obviously, branding is the most exciting part of creating a business, at least for me. I really enjoy deciding which colors to use and which font to use and how to name your shop and all of that. And the last video had me thinking it might be helpful to talk about how I branded my first shop as opposed to how I'm branding my new shop because there are so many things that I'm doing now to create a cohesive branding story and to speak to a particular audience that I didn't do for my first shop. Um, so hopefully you'll find that interesting and yeah, let me know in the comments. Now, creating a brand identity is important for your shop and for your business in general because eventually, assuming that you, know, do, you do things right and your shop blows up and you're selling a product that people wanna buy, um, your shop will become more and more famous, it will become bigger and you will get more attention. Now, the idea is that when you get to that stage, you have a shop that is recognizable, that people can associate with you, they can associate with your product and you're telling a story that makes sense for the audience you're targeting. Um, now, I work in communications and I know this from work, but you know, if you watched my last video, you know that for my first Etsy shop, I kind of stumbled the entire way up until, you know, the end where I was selling a product that I was kind of performing okay, like minimally. Um, and I didn't really have that much thought going into my brand identity. I got distracted with things like the color palette and the that I wanted to use and in the end, in hindsight, it wasn't very clear um, to an audience what I was selling. So on Etsy, you have your banner for your shop, you have your shop name, then you have a one-liner descriptor of what your shop is um, and you have the space for the logo, right? My first shop was called The Art Shop which makes no sense, right? I mean, if you watch my last video, you'll see why I named it that. I was just, you know, going for a general theme. I wasn't thinking about it and I wanted to make a lot of things by hand that I wanted to sell. But in hindsight, the art shop sounds like an art supply store, which is not what I had. So, you know, first mistake, that's very confusing. It also has no advantages in terms of SEO. If you Google the art shop, like you're never gonna find my shop. Um, and then my one-liner descriptor said, um, art in all its forms. Again, it was so vague. What does that even mean, right? It's also not true. There's no way I could sell every form of art in my shop. Um, and my logo, I'll show a picture of it here. I love this logo, okay? I designed it myself using my iPad and my Apple Pencil and this app called Procreate where you can draw things and layer, it's kind of like Photoshop. I am obsessed with this logo. Of course, I am biased, but I think it's fantastic. I think it's so beautiful. Um, but again, what does this have to do with art? It doesn't have anything to do with art. It's really pretty. And you know, I guess you could make the case that a logo doesn't necessarily have to explain your brand story, but because I didn't have a brand story or a target audience or a specific product line I was selling, it just all together seems very confused. Now let's talk about my second shop, or like the rebrand of my shop, I should say. Um, I went for the name Virgo Things, and there are a few reasons for that. One being that I am a Virgo, so you know it makes sense because it's my shop and it's personalized to me. <laughs> but um, there's also this stereotype with Virgos being very perfectionist and they plan ahead of things and we just need to know what's happening all of the time and very structured lifestyles and things like that. So I thought it speaks to a particular type of audience. I'm obviously not only targeting Virgos as um, the audience for my products, but I think that stereotype 
um, of Virgos being perfectionists and that enjoy planning and things like that is well known enough that Virgo things make sense as a name for a planning shop. Now, the second thing that I did with the name was try to make it a bit more recognizable. You know, if my brand does blow up, hopefully one day it will, um, Virgo things is a recognizable name. There are not many things that are called Virgo things. There are not two words that usually go together in a sentence or anything like that. So that was my goal with that name. And then for the shop one-liner, I changed it from art in all of its forms to Canadian one-stop shop for planning stuff. That makes sense, right? Um, for the logo, I didn't actually keep my eye logo. I think it's beautiful, but I think I'm gonna save that for something else. For this shop, I just created like a little banner that says Virgo things as the logo. I don't really need to brand things any further than that. These are printable uh, inserts. And because um, I'm trying to give my audience like the most flexibility when it comes to uh, personalizing their inserts. You know, when you print your inserts, a lot of people like to use washi tape, they like to use highlighters and stickers and things like that. For that reason, I'm keeping my inserts very minimal. Um, it also works if you love minimal inserts and you don't like any of that stuff, then you can just print them and go. Um, and so I wanted the shop to have that minimalist feel. Now, this is something that I stumbled upon as I was rebranding my shop. So the first iteration of Virgo Things looked like this. Very 70s, you know, very good vibes. The orange is just beautiful. It's bright, it's positive. I really like that color combination of the white and the orange. Um, and then I thought, well, because I'm gonna have different sizes of planner inserts in my shop, I should pick a different color per size so that even though each one is labeled and even though they're um, listed as a category on the side, people can recognize the color for the tiles that they're looking for. And I think that's a good idea. But, you know, my first branding moment with Virgo Things was trying to keep things very, like, bright and exciting, kind of like, you know, um, and I took it a bit too far. So these are the first tiles that I used. You know, individually, I'm like, okay, the colors are bright. You know, I see the little um, outlines of the suns and everything that I had on my initial banner and the background too. But if you see them all together, they're actually very noisy and they're not conveying what I want to convey. This doesn't convey like a planning shop for people who like to be organized. This is just messy. And so finally, I did my last iteration of my branding for Virgo Things. And this is what the shop looks like right now. So it's very minimal. You still see different colors for each size and for each tile um, on Etsy. So it's easy to find the size that you're looking for. Um, but it's all very clean. It's all in sync with the minimalist idea for the inserts. And, um, you know, with the name and with the descriptor, I think this shop is actually cohesive now and it makes sense as a shop. So yeah, that's all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a comment and a like or something and let me know. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you soon with another video.